Italy. 1895. Inventor Guglielmo Marconi developed the idea for a wireless telegraph. He was able to transmit a Morse code signal over this device that he would call the radio. During the First World War, this device would become a crucial method of communication with ground troops and allies. Once the war was finished and the dust settled, radio would adapt its technology to allow for the transmission of actual voices, enabling radio to become a common source of entertainment on the home front. The 1920s, an economic boom during which people rushed to buy radios, were considered the golden age of radio broadcasting. Universities offered classes over the radio. Religious bodies began to broadcast their services, and newspapers would air tie-in radio shows to the public. Radio was used to ease people's fears. Please let me make it clear to you that if your bank does not open the first day, you are by no means justified in believing that it will not open. A bank that opens on one of the subsequent days is in exactly the same status as the bank that opens tomorrow. And to push them into chaos. This KLIF bulletin from Dallas, three shots reportedly were fired at the motorcade of President Kennedy today near the downtown section. To offer people peace. We will not prematurely or unnecessarily risk the course of worldwide nuclear war in which even the fruits of victory would be ashes in our mouth. And to plunge them into war. Radio would broadcast to the public around the world some of mankind's greatest feats. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And worst tragedies. Just enough to keep it from... It bursts into flesh! Get it started! Get it started! It's fire and it's fire! Jesus Christ, ladies and gentlemen, the smoke and the flames now, and the flame is crashing to the ground, not quite to the morning mass, all the humanity and all the fans are just speeding around it. Once the television rolled around, it would take up this same job of broadcasting the best and worst of humanity. As television became more popular and more affordable, Radio stations would begin to focus their broadcasts on music, a form of content that could set it apart from the visual broadcasts on television. As time went on, however, the radio would become more and more eclipsed by new technology. Digital music stores and music streaming services could provide similar experiences with a more personalized feel, allowing the user to create their own playlists and listen to the specific songs that they choose. Nowadays, radio is seen as a dying technology, a relic from a bygone era. Even compared to 30 years ago, the radio's popularity has dropped off more and more as technological advancements and entertainment options have arisen in competition for the public's attention. Radio slips ever further and further into irrelevancy, desperately awaiting a second chance at life. <laughs> Thank you.